to how easy it is to take care of the water. Uh, after each use, you're going to add either one, two, or three tablespoons of this MPS product. Uh, one for smaller spas, two for medium, and then three for larger spas. So now getting into your weekly maintenance, uh, you're going to add this chlorine product right here uh, once a week. You're going to do either one tablespoon for small spas or two tablespoons for larger spas. The other thing you want to do is go ahead and test for your pH and your alkalinity once a week and then go ahead and balance that as necessary. Uh, go ahead and just refer to the startup video if you have any questions about that. So your monthly maintenance is super easy. There's only two steps. We're going to clean our cover and then we're going to clean our filters. So to clean your cover, you're just going to wipe down the debris with a wet towel. And then once you're done with that, take a dry towel and your aerospace protectant Spray it on and just wipe it right off. So this 303 protectant protects your cover from the elements and keeps you looking brand new. Let's get into cleaning our filters. First we want to make sure we cut the power of the spa. Once it is cut, we'll go ahead and take our filter lid off. And once that's off, we'll unscrew the caps. The filter should come right up. And we'll go ahead and get ready to spray them down. So right now I'm going to show you how to properly clean the filter with your hose. Uh, if you have a little spray nozzle, uh, that'll work great. Otherwise, just go ahead and put your finger over this. So I'm going to go up and down, all around, go left and right, and you'll see all that gunk sort of just coming right out. Go ahead and flick your bleach. Inside the donut hole a little bit until you got a white filter. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my clean filters back in here. Now it's a great idea to rotate the position of each filter. They're all interchangeable. Uh, it's kind of like rotating your tires on your car. The idea is that you want to get equal wear on those filters. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, power our spa back up and we're done with our monthly maintenance. So every four months there's a few things that you'll want to take care of. You'll want to replace your silver ion cartridge. It came in this envelope during your delivery, but it looks a little different in the showroom, just like it does in this box. Those silver beads eventually do wear out, and after four months it's going to be useless for you, so you want to make sure you replace that. So every four to six months you may want to take a look at your filters to see if there's a buildup of grease on there. If you wear a lot of lotion, suntan lotion, things like that, uh, what can happen is they actually can clog your filters and diminish your jet strength. Uh, to reduce this buildup, you want to use a product called Filter Cleaner. Uh, you can go ahead and just call the showroom for some details on that. So every four to six months, you're going to want to go ahead and drain and refill your spa water. Um, you know, over that time, it's just going to be a little more difficult to balance the water, and it's just going to feel much better on your skin when you get some fresh water in there. Um, the best way to do this uh, is just to cut your power. Go down here and you'll find your drain cap. You'll unscrew that. You can go ahead and screw on a hose on there and then drain that wherever you need to. And then there's a little convenient lever right here that you'll flip. And it'll just start flowing right out. So that wraps it up for your maintenance. It's super easy. Um, if you have any questions or if you get stuck along the way, just feel free to give us a call at the showroom.